When is Harry Styles supposed to join? What? <laughs> this is what a Zoloft dream feels like. I wake up sometimes and I'm like, what the fuck, Brian? <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Well, guys, thank you so much for having <laughs> no, me on your podcast. You Ramble. Pretty basic. Thank you to DoorDash, Macy's, and Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Hi, guys. Okay, so if you guys are listening to this episode and you missed part one of the Madison Beer episode, pause and go back. Listen to part one. We had such a long conversation with Madison, truly the longest episode we've ever done in Pretty Basic history. And we just couldn't get enough of each other. So we split this into two episodes so you guys don't miss out on anything. We hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, love you guys so much. Pretty Basic. Well, yeah, I feel like we've taken half yes. of your day. No, I, I know. Sorry. <laughs> Two more I'm hours. Sorry. <laughs> My favorite was the 45 minute talk about the strawberry. Oh, the McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> Me too. I told you I'm going to stop at Ralph's and the Joe's. I uh, can't wait Star to Rouse. try it. <laughs> oh, speaking of Joe's, have you tried the tuna cotto thing? bitch don't even talk to me about that because i literally eat it every day oh so. i i live so far and i will drive like i will it's plan my days if i'm going to west hollywood a 30 minutes break to get it yeah. um the pickled onions on it have you tried that no that, i will i just tried it oh it's so good so I'm, I'm like also such a consumer oh my god i, I see something too. on tiktok and i'm like fuck i need to buy that no I'm, it's really bad and i need to eat that my I Amazon, there, it's like, so bad. It's I know, so I can't bad. even. I can't, I'm so embarrassed. But this I can't is what they talk want. It. Like TikTok is winning. They're <laughs> winning. They're like winning. they want us to just consume everything like over and over. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's horrible. And I'm also someone who like literally thinks the like the level of consumerism that we are consuming things is like actually frightening and like really mm -hmm. does give me anxiety and scares me. And it's not sustainable and it's not realistic. And the world will end. But I'm like, oh my God, that red LED light looks so good for my <laughs> No, skin. I know I have a problem. I know I do, but I just like, I can't, I we need to, to I need to look inwards. I really we, do. We really need to stop. But yeah, I did see the, the tuna cotto, the tuna cotto thing was on TikTok. And That's I was so like, good. I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> and now I'm obsessed. Things like that are fine. Oh, food, so fine. food? Fine. I'm going to eat it. So, but yeah. like, do I need this? Like, do I need the 19 fluffy headband? No. <laughs> no. No. But do no. we have it? Yeah. But we own it. <laughs> I have four cheetah ones. Oh, I need the pink polka dot one too. Like, <laughs> shit, man. It's too much. It's not even, it's fucked up. The first step is is acknowledging though. Right. I feel you on that. I, I really am in this Admitting that I have a problem and I do indeed have a problem. I feel that. Well, seriously, if I have one request, please go on a Cooking with Remy episode because uh, you no. guys will talk about Are you a good this. cook though? I am. See, she has like, a whole cooking. I do a cooking show, show on have, her. Yeah, but I don't know if it's like you know how some people do oh, like the oh, funny God, ones, like where it's like oh, I'm no, a she's bad so cook. I'm, so I decent. Do this. I'm decent. Well, I will come on, please. And embarrass <laughs> myself. Anytime. Make strawberry shortcakes. It'll be good. Let's do that. I think baking. I could do okay. a little bit better. It's the most scientific. Like, the most like incredible thing i cook is like cook is chop is the cowboy caviar stuff i haven't tried it yet is it it's good? really good it's okay. really really yummy um oh. but that's just literally chopping vegetables that's a lot of when, life when i do that i'm like okay it's girl <laughs> you did that <laughs> i'm like i did that i did that but i cannot i i've cooked like a steak before which i actually came that's out really deal. good that's hard oh i was my dad is an amazing cook he was on FaceTime. He was like, now put it in the oven. Now put it on. Now give it. I'm like, oh, wait, wait. It was so intense and so scary. Oh but it came out amazing. So that's something that I can do. But I can't. Yeah, I'm just like that. That The green thumb and cooking skills are not in my. That's okay. Your house. garden. That's why Postmates <laughs> exist. It's you have okay. a garden too? I have a garden too. See, that's what I'm, I think there's like psychologically. Like they, yeah, they go together. I get that. I do. I have a you garden, have it or you don't. I've never, I will not touch it because I'll kill everything. You have a garden? I do. <gasps> but like, I have someone who will help you with that. Okay. It. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Cause I would kill every plant in that. Me. You can just garden. look at it and it's, take some nice deep breaths, get yeah. that oxygen. I, you know, there's some blueberries in there. There's Shut tomatoes. Up. Yeah. Oh, I have like a functioning garden. Can you send me some pics? I will send you I would a like to see. Thank it's you. It's really cute. It's really, really pretty and like <gasps> adorable. I it's not in a good location see. though, so I never really go out there. It's like in a weird area, but it's very cute. And it came with my house and I was like, oh my oh, gosh. Even that's such a plus. Yeah. When I'm doing my garden now, I'm like, someone's going to buy this house one day and, and love my garden. Love. Oh, so I was like, what a thing. The garden As I was planting my flowers things. yesterday. Yay. Is it flowers or like food? Um, Everything. I've got like five fruit trees, three big boxes. I want an avocado tree. I my avocado my tree. old house had an avocado tree, a lemon tree, and 
like a orange clementine <gasps> something small orange oh, looking cute. thing like not kumquat. not that small like okay. more like clement clementines are they called? Tangerine? Uh-huh. Tangerines, yeah, yeah. clementines whatever yeah okay. um I had cuties. all of those, yeah, cuties, <laughs> cuties growing from the tree. I had all three of those at my old house, and then I moved, and now I'm like, it's also, such a luxury you don't realize. Yeah, I was oh gonna God. say avocado and lemon are always the things you're running out and of. They're so expensive that's expensive too. So Good. expensive. I have a peach tree that they grafted <gasps> to have four different kinds of peaches on one tree. Insane. What? I'll bring you some peaches. Oh my god, I love peaches. Okay, my gorgeous. Boy, my boyfriend loves peaches too. I'm gonna have about you know, like 80. the peach halves from in the can or in the Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yeah. He literally will eat a jar of those every night. It's so funny. That's so cool. Wait. I definitely will come on cooking with her. I need to sell you on one more thing before no, you go. Please. The Ninja Creamy. I'm not in a rush. Have you seen the Ninja Creamy? What the fuck is that? Holy oh, shit. I know this It's one. this like, it's this kitchen appliance. And I will say like, I try Ninja so many appliances. creamy. Yes, creamy. C-R-E-A-M-I. It's like an ice cream maker, but you basically, you have like a little like uh, plastic container. You can put whatever you want. Like you can make your own ice cream. People are doing like protein ice creams, like a protein shake, but he should take his peaches, pour it in there. You freeze it overnight. You put it in. I kid you not. It's like frosty consistency and it's just the peaches. You know, I don't, I don't know what the product is, but my mom used to have something that she would do that with bananas for us. I had that as well. The Yo Nana's machine. Maybe. (laughs) Yeah, you had that. Maybe. (laughs) Because she would do it with bananas and I loved it. Banana ice cream is good. You can do bananas in there too. My dad, when we were younger, like, my favorite like dessert would be like chocolate covered bananas, like put them in the yes. freezer. That's oh my, God, so my go-to. That's nostalgic for Like me. when you go to like a beach town and they've just got them on the stick, it's Rocky so Mountain cute. Chocolate Factory. It's so cute. I could talk about this forever. Oh, let's, I let, <laughs> keep the cameras rolling. I'm trying to think like I literally. I love this. I, no, like I, I love this. I'm trying to think of something like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Oh. Oh my God. I'm not very adventurous to be honest. Really? Like I'm way more adventurous. Like, would you try anything or no? There's things that like are like so many things I would say no. Really? I used to think I wasn't picky until maybe recently. I was like, oh, I went to an omakase with my boyfriend in in Tokyo, and sounds amazing. There, it was amazing, but I realized I'm very specific in the, like sushi is like one of my favorite foods. Yeah, I only like like three fish, so I made him eat everything like Whoa. under the table. Whoa! You don't want to like offend? No, yeah. I know I felt bad. What don't you I like? Couldn't. Like uni freaks you out a little. Love like, uni. Oh, I don't like really. The fish. Uni's like the one that people get like freaked out by. I like for some reason more recently I like it now. Okay, the fish with the skin on it oh i really freaks I'm with, me I'm out i'm with that i know I'm, with that. I'm sure they're delicious no i'm with that i yeah. like don't like skin it's, uh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies how do you feel about sugar fish love Re- you love know sh- what no i don't i <gasps> what um, about it just the actual like sushi itself yeah don't love really I, I bring that up because i ordered it to my house yesterday to like give it another shot and i just like was really freaked out it's by got it. a smell i will say something it about does. it just fr- and i love like i'll eat fish like sushi i'll eat raw fish like it doesn't freak me out like that doesn't i don't care so it's not that it's not roll like the- i think it's i think it's literally like the quality of it i something mm. about it i don't love and i'm not saying it's bad quality but sugar fish is going like, to sue me for defamation <laughs> i was gonna say they like take such pride in that yeah. i know i don't i just maybe i got is a bad cardboard? batch Maybe I got a bad batch. It does have about a smell. it was like a little funky to me, and I wasn't loving it. Also, that's yeah. what we loved about Japan is the f- like sushi is so cheap, but such yeah. good quality. Yeah, I know. Such it's good quality. We loved. Now I'm trying to think about the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. I also love that we've like almost <laughs> yeah. ended it four times. I'm obsessed with this. I, I literally have nowhere to be. <laughs> I used to do a weird food combo series on my channel <gasps> Ooh, like years ago. That's fun. And my favorite thing is when I needed inspo, I would look up like. Um, like high munchies for like inspo. Like stoner I'm like, foods. I need literal stoner foods, right? See, that's what I miss about smoking weed. I used to smoke weed and I used to eat crazy shit. Mind blowingly good. You're I like smoke weed. this so combination. So a lot of the weird ones were like, once I did a few, I realized it was more of a sweet and salty combination all oh, the time. It was like yeah. cereal with a slice of American cheese on it. And I was Ew. like, Ew. I tried it and I was at first I was like, Wah! and then I was like, once you taste it, it kind of tastes like a grilled cheese with a side of milk, like like very specific things. But I was very much Girl. like, that's weird. Girl. Girl. That's, that's so you though. Or like um, Nutella on pizza was, ac- I actually no. like that one. I no. loved that's that one. No. Sinful. No, so, okay. I can't, even sinful. Get, I can't even like put it in my mouth. You don't like pickles? How do you feel with pickles? I love pickles. I'm fine with pickles, but I like pickle chips. Like the okay. potato chips all over. Yeah, I'm not a fan of pickles. Are you, my friend's low key like has a fear of them. She's scared of them. Scared they don't scare people? me. They yeah. just aren't like good to me. Like, I'll, you know what? I actually <laughs> like the little ones, like the little tiny, like those are my least. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah like I, like the those. little popper ones. I can eat those. <laughs> They're fun. Let's but, end with one yes or no, because if it's a yes, then we could all be best friends. Oh, Olives. <sighs> um, depending on, 
I don't like black olives, but I'll eat a green olive. <gasps> I meant to say if it's a no, we hate olives over here, but yeah, that's like okay. Olives. I don't like black olives okay, or make me best black friends. olives. Like if they're in a salad, I won't eat the salad. Same. Oh, but green, green olives, like I've learned as I've gotten older, an acquired That's taste. why when you said if it's yes, I was like, no, oh, cause I don't like olives, but, okay. but I miss, green, green olives. If I'm like, if they're in front of me on a bar at a restaurant, I'm like hungry. With like the nuts and Again, stuff. Again, I'm a salty person. I mm. love salt. So sometimes, sometimes they're good. Okay. Okay. Give green olives and maybe another one. We'll, we'll, we'll give that one. A, the black olives, I get it. They're not, I don't like them. They're I don't, so I, yucky. I, I, How do we feel about licorice? Hate. I don't like it. Hate, oh, hate, hate, it. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. All kinds of licorice. I found my not. people. I fucking, I hate. see my boyfriend, literally his favorite candy is red vines. And I'm like, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> Those are the worst too. The giant tub. <laughs> Ew. Oh, Ew. The Costco size tub. Oh my God. Tub. His only red licorice. <laughs> I know. Genuinely. I'm like, no, he has, he has a lot. <laughs> We're going to have food. My boyfriend is the picket. He eats like a six year old. He literally only wants to eat like chicken nuggets and fries. I'm sorry, Nick. He's going to literally kill me. <laughs> he eats nothing. Doesn't eat sushi. Will not. Will not. No fish. Nothing. No wonder you brought that up as an analogy. So it's <laughs> really fucking difficult for me. That's like my biggest Where's thing. Where's your favorite I'm like, restaurant? I'm like, go. how am I going to marry you if we yeah. can't enjoy chicken nuggets Dino and nuts. fries? <laughs> Matsuhisa is like my favorite sushi. Love. I mean, that's just, we should all three go. So I would, the good. little um, spicy tuna crisp recipe cube. Um, oh. Do you like omakase? I like everything. The <gasps> I'm not picky yes. at all. And then, the only things that I don't like, I'm trying to think of what food I don't like. I don't literally like, that's so funny. Like I don't like olives. I've, mm -hmm. that's, it's so weird you bring up olives though because two weeks, three weeks ago, I was in Vegas for my brother's birthday. He just turned 21. Oh my God. <gasps> Big deal. How exciting. I, I made him like little custom, like rider turns 21, like sweatsuits for all oh, of his friends. Yeah. They all like love them. It was so cute. Wait, that's adorable. It was and really cute. Them. And then on the back, there was like slot machines and stuff. Wait, that's adorable. It, was, it was really, really cute. I, I honestly killed it. Um, <laughs> but we were there and the olive thing literally happened because we were at a restaurant that had them. It was like this very fancy, like jazz type of restaurant that had olives and one of our guy friends was eating so many of them and i was like you are scaring me that you're eating so many olives like that's disgusting to me and he was like just eat one like they're good and i was like you know what my friend was drinking a martini that had them in them and yeah. they looked better to me yeah i was like you know what? i'll eat one and i ate one and i thought it was good so it's funny you bring that up three weeks later because i actually just recently like sort of have been like we're just green dabbling olives, green and black are very very, very different. different green okay. olives are good maybe i'll try think of what i you guys like, to, you love tomatoes. Love, love tomatoes. Love. I don't get people that don't like tomatoes. Yeah, that's like Again, a big especially affliction. Especially the in and out Big one. thing. People mm -hmm. like Nick hates Onions them. too. I love Does he onion. like onions? I love onions. Does he have a weird thing with onions or he's cool? He likes the taste of them, but he doesn't like eating them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, like onion them. chips yeah, or something. Like, he'll cook, like, like, <laughs> like for example, we get this like vegetable plate at this restaurant we go to and he gets onions in them just for the flavor, but he doesn't want to eat the onions. But he's that's weird. kind of, but it makes he sense. He is literally a sociopath. But I like that he's specific. Like he knows what he likes and I respect that. But like try things. <laughs> I get so mad at him. I'm like the worst thing that's gonna happen is you're not going to like it. You could spit, spit it, out it out and be like, okay, I don't like that. That's true. Best case is you love it and you have a new favorite food for the rest of your life. Yes. That's so true. What the fuck? The pros and cons like are not <laughs> remotely comparable. I just, I don't know. I, I will try honestly anything. My brother growing up, my mom would make two separate dinners. Like one for my mom, her or for her my dad and i and then one for my brother and it was like always like a, a grilled cheese or something yeah like why People are boys that way? way why are they like and like this? we spoil like she spoiled him my right. dad would be like don't don't enable don't. that behavior exactly. literally no it's so funny i look back i'm like ranch was something that i didn't like growing up also maple syrup <gasps> i'm the not best a maple syrup girl. isn't that bizarre i love it i literally like my dad would always make us like pancakes and stuff and i would never put syrup I on only butter pancakes. so weird though oh like now i and now i get down with maple syrup but yeah. growing up for some reason that oh was my like God, not I my vibe. that shit. You know, my favorite, <laughs> my, little Madison's favorite snack was, was uh, I would have my mom peel potatoes and like put the potato skin, like burn the potato skins. Wait. And that's like all I would eat. <laughs> that sounds great I would love it. I mean, like lots of vitamins. Like bizarre. That's pretty good. Like that's really a weird snack. for like a six year old to like be craving. <laughs> I'm like, it's how did you like, does that like, oh I remember when did you try it for the first time? Literally like my mom, I think she was like making like baked potato skins or something uh -huh. like as like a side dish. And you just ate the skin. <laughs> and I literally was like, wait, this, yeah. Like I loved like, also I, I'm like a very like, I don't know, again, like back to like, what is like, I love like earwax videos and like pimple popping videos Same. and like all that kind of stuff. Like something about the peeling of the potato, Satisfying. it just like scratched that itch in my brain. I think yes. that like, it just, yeah, like it just did something to me. But when I was <laughs> younger, I remember vividly in the middle of the night, I woke up so hung middle of the night, probably like 11, 11 PM. <laughs> I woke up so hungry and I walked downstairs and I opened the fridge and I remember there was like a Ziploc bag with 
potato skins from that night in them and i like ate all of them standing by the refrigerator <laughs> and i just was like i just that's like a, such a core memory for me because i, I don't know that. why i'm like like potatoes can that's not even something that i like no, now I, just, like, I honestly like, picture you at a sleepover and the mom's like what do you want for a snack and you're like potato skins <laughs> and everyone's like, like okay. what did she say yeah. i cannot contain my excitement for summer this year summer summer summer, summer. summer. every year i feel like i get excited for summer but this year exponentially more you know why why the I'm, weather I love, sucks i love okay you're right actually because i love cool weather but i'm ready for the sun i want to go to the beach i want to be tan i want to i've been really envisioning like eating a popsicle while on a floaty in my pool. The mango ones in your freezer. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love that you know what's in my <laughs> freezer. <laughs> well, I cannot wait for summer and DoorDash can help us make it the best summer yet. I can DoorDash those popsicles. You can. With a Dash Pass membership, you can save a big now through July 19th on beach snacks, sunscreen, <gasps> swimsuits, and more. How fun is that? With summer of Dash Pass, you'll enjoy $0 delivery fees and reduced service fees on all eligible orders. But that's not all. Access to thousands of offers nationwide, the chance to get special access to members only events whether you're into sports music or just great snacks and limited edition drops and exclusive items to help level up all season long experience a summer like no other live your best summer with a dash pass membership from doordash today sign up for a dash pass now and you'll get your first month free plus when you use your promo code plus when you use our promo code get 50 percent off up to a 10 dollar value when you spend 15 dollars or more on your next dash pass order when you download the doordash app and enter code basic summer that's 50% off when you spend $10 or more on your next Dash Pass order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Basic Summer. Don't forget code Basic Summer for 50% off your next order. Subject to change, terms apply. Like I was the kid too. I don't know like if this is normal or what this says about me. I'm always like the I was always the first kid to sleep at every sleepover. I like was the sleepiest little girl <laughs> and I also was such a princess that I was like, I can't, like, let's say we were all having a 15 person. I went to sleep boy camp and it was very normal for like a reunion to have like a big 15 girl sleepover in the basement or something. I would literally, let's say everyone goes to sleep at like midnight at like 10 PM. I'd be like to the girl whose house I'd be like, I was like, can I sleep in your bed? Aww. And she'd be like, um, sure. And like, she like obviously wanted me down there with everyone. Everyone's like in sleeping bags and stuff. And I was like, yeah. hell no. <laughs> I am sleeping my ass in a fucking bed and I'm not dealing with this shit. Even like, I'm not even kidding you. I was like seven years old. Doing That's that shit. Iconic, oh, yeah, I was, I was a very like interesting little girl. No, but you knew what you wanted well, I mean, and I respect it. It makes it easier to go to bed so early when you're like, sorry, I need, I, I, you guys are loud. I'll, I'll go. I also I'll like have to king. sleep with the TV on. How do we feel about that? Um, uh, not for me. I don't yeah. anymore, but for the longest time, it was like the only way I could fall asleep. I can't. If like, <laughs> this is another funny story. And if I told you who it was, you would probably laugh, but I can't. Um, I had a sleepover with a friend when I first moved to LA that she had a all black room. Her room was literally like black decor. And I'm like petrified of the dark stems from tra traumatizing events, tra petrified of the dark. So I can't do it. And I literally like need the TV on. I need, I don't need like the volume blaring. I need like one, on one or two, just a mm -hmm. little something. Just the light Cause from it. to me when it's like dead silent, I'm mean, you're right. just waiting you to you're hear stuck something. With your thoughts and too. I'm just like, uh, I don't want to hear shit. Like, yeah. let me just sleep in peace. If someone's going to come in this house, I don't want to even hear it. So I'm like at her house, I was like so young. She's quite famous. And I was like, okay, like good night. And we we're watching TV and she had one of those like pop-up TVs <gasps> and all of a sudden I'm like laying there and I'm falling. I'm like, so this is nice. It's really dark in the room, but it's the TV down. So we're, uh -huh. we're okay. And like 30 minutes later, I just hear like, mm, and I hear the TV going down. And I literally was like, was she dead asleep? Dead asleep. And I was like a little bit too scared to say anything yeah. because I felt bad. And I just laid there all night, like wide awake, just like, and this was like pre TikTok and stuff. So I just like had nothing, nothing to, I was yeah. like, and I'm not going to watch like a YouTube video. What am I going to do? <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm just like wide awake, so sad that I did this. And I just, I ended up probably falling asleep at some point, but like, I can't do it. I just cannot do no TV. I oh. used to be like dead silent, but I just got a noise machine and oh, yeah. now I'm heavily relying on I that. I love my white it's noise. It's fantastic. I just maybe should try that. I literally fall asleep with like dance moms, chaotic, <laughs> like throwing drinks at each no. other. That's, oh or my God. literally, it's so funny. I used to, <laughs> for the longest time, I fell asleep watching Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay show. Oh. <laughs> That's not like, it's not, nothing soothing. Like my, literally all my friends are like, you are such a maniac that you like want to fall asleep to Gordon Ramsay ripping people apart about their food. That's I'm like, so that's just funny. something about it is relaxing to me. But yeah, 
dance moms is also like not peaceful. No. It's like yelling. It's not like happy, just screaming. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Who's on the top of the pyramid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Your dreams are all like. <laughs> oh my God. My dream, you know, yeah, let's not even jump into the dream conversation. But dreams are crazy. Especially because I'm on anxiety meds. Like instantly. Movies. Like I, insane. I know. So vivid. Vivid. You get it. It my dreams like are too it. much though like i wake up sometimes and i'm like what the fuck brian what are <laughs> we like, doing can you not it's too much like i just I'm like it's like either so emotional and so hard and like too much or it's like <laughs> what was that yeah Literally, like what was that and it's i like, like how why? can someone actually think of that yeah my my brain <laughs> conjured that up oh somehow, my god some way somehow oh my we god we were oh, i was so we can cut all this i was somewhere with friends and I was like, this is what a Zoloft dream feels like. And then I was like, this is <laughs> like what it feels life. like. Yeah, I was I like, love that. this is what it feels That's like. That's how I felt I like it at the VIP section at Coachella. Because yep. I was like, this is a fucking <laughs> fever dream. And I want to run away. I love Coachella, though. I actually, like, didn't, when people used to say it was so overrated, I'd be like, what are you talking about? It's a fun festival. Yeah. I also, know. I know for a fact next year's lineup's going to be amazing. I hope I already so. Know. I already, like, I feel like everyone's like, eh, I don't want to go back. And then it's probably, it, it, I, I pray it, that I'm on there. That would be I was fun. just going to oh ask, would you do a God. festival circuit? I would love, well, it's, yeah, it kind of sucks because since my album got pushed, I couldn't do any like this coming summer because they kind of have to know oh. ahead of time. Yeah, like, what, like, oh, is your album going to be out? And we're like, yeah. And then when we push it, they're like, oh, like it's, it's just hard to get a good slot in yeah. that capacity. Wait, okay, but next understand. summer, God. yes. And, and for sure I'll be doing a lot more. Oh um, my God. But yeah, Coachella is a dream. I would love to perform there. I have, you know, kind of growing up in LA, like that's like everyone's dream is to play it. But I don't know. I get like, I'm, I'm just so scared. Oh, I get it. I'm a scared person of everything, but it'd be fun. But and it would be an honor. So no, I would love to do you it. Would oh, you would fucking crush to. it. It'd be so good. You will be there with us. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. please. Yes, 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 yes. Literally. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, this year was a little much. It was really crazy. There was just so many people. And I also, I wore like something so extra and stupid the first day. And then the second day I just wore like overalls and I was like, I just want to chill. And I think if I, if, and when I go back, I'm just going to dress as down as possible yeah. and like not really think about it. Cause I just, I want to be comfortable yeah. and have like a fun day. I feel like that wave of like, stepping out and all the outfits and everything is over which is very comforting to I me i know i'm very That's relaxed pressure. with Dude, this idea. my first year of coachella if i if you look back at my outfits i'm like yo chill <laughs> literally where are you going <laughs> it was of the times it, it was, was the times. i was you know with like like i i was wearing like a gold necklace like on my head oh my god like face makeup and like a whole thing it was fun it was like yeah. an event that you dressed up for and that's what it was then yeah, yeah but yeah. now i'm like i just want to go and listen to artists that i like and enjoy the music yeah also well, that was the era of wearing for. like booties oh yeah like furry booties like no, like the like like just booties with a heel, like oh, boho. like a heel boot. Oh, 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 my feet. No, no, no. I don't wear heels. Oh my god. <laughs> I, me, oh my me god. Me and heels are part of me. Me heels and math are the three things that I've like <laughs> been like. You are not going to be a part of my life, and that's You're okay. Like, that's unfortunately, fine. we're separating, setting our boundaries, going different ways, and that's okay. And it's something I've accepted. And that's on setting boundaries. I always tell them, I'm like, if you see me in heels, I was forced to wear them. Yeah. Forced. So do you I hate will. carpets? Yes. Yeah. I do. I don't like going on red carpets anymore. I've I've recently grown to dislike them. Some of them are fun. Yeah, I will say there are some that are like a good time and like not crazy. But sometimes I'm just like, Ugh. well, Ugh. speaking of heels alone, I was recently on a carpet and I actually almost ate shit. I don't know if I told you this. It was the Guardians really? one. <gasps> My, you went to the premiere. Yeah. It was oh, so we have. Fun. Sorry, last we have to talk about Guardians and then we can. So be, good. And then she hasn't seen it. <gasps> I'm not going to see it. I told her she might cry. I can't. I will oh, cry. Oh no! Don't. Honestly, I'm not going okay, to. Okay, wait. I'm gonna literally read you this tweet that i tweeted yesterday oh my God. I, 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 I physically know i cannot no, do it you i'm glad you know that because going into it i didn't know that yeah. and i Stop. am like i want to sue them <laughs> I she like, so mr I started disney <laughs> i said uh, someone said what's a movie that you recommend i said go watch guardians 3 but also don't because i haven't been okay since but also do because it's incredible but don't but do bring tissues <laughs> that's all i said because it's just like that's actually genuinely how i feel about it it was so good and so well done and i'm like i think that james gunn's like writing ability and like the way the trilogy panned out was so good but holy shit yeah but literally just like no. I, I i it ended and i was just like unwell i couldn't speak and i was just stunned and like are we talking about lila that's her name right lila there's there's that's more my childhood it, dog yeah. name too Wait, so i can't i've been saying to my friends hurts oh 
my god! Every day, literally, like every single day, my my friend and I like were out the other day, and I f- I fell, and I literally was like, Hurts. oh no! Have you seen I that? Cried. No, but I can think about. I, it's like, okay I again. I spoiler, 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 spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! It's Guardians. Um. There's like a part where like they show Rocket. Do you know anything about like? Yeah, Guardians? yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh so yeah, I watched them all. Got it. Well, you should watch it. Then. I can't. No, you have to. You have I to. You have to. You must. You have to finish it off. Watch Come it on. when you're at home, like you said. Okay, yeah. yeah, whatever. But this isn't even spoiling anything. There's a scene where like they show when he first gets like operated on and like made like bionic or whatever, and they like oh they like do something to his head, and that's when he first meets Lila, and he's like a little baby, and he's shaking it's on the ground. So- and he's never said anything before in his first words. He just looks at her. She's like, it's okay, friend. You're going to be fine. And he's like, it's- <laughs> I literally was like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? No, I, I can't even tell you. Like, I was crying so hard. It was actually embarrassing. And like, other people were definitely crying in the theater, but I was like audibly oh, crying. my glam gone. Loud. <laughs> I can't imagine being at the premiere like, and spending all that money on makeup. I tissues. I literally was like, I was- oh my God. Ashley and I were sitting like on two whole, cause I was sitting by TK and she was sitting with Greer. We were on two separate like whole aisles, you know? We both leaned forward at the same time <laughs> and we're I, I literally was like a, a wreck. Oh, Especially so even there were so many other parts that like people aren't like talking about as much like when Drax is like the dad to all those kids. Sorry, I'm like so spoiling. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, not, so I'm not gonna watch it. It's fine. No, 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 it's <laughs> Please watch it. I'm gonna watch it when it's like on demand, like I get two that. years from I now when I'm like, that. oh, <laughs> it's okay. No, but like it is so the writing emotional. though, even the car, like I remember. Rocket cheese for go now. Rocket, I'm like, oh my god, run, 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 please. Run. <laughs> I can't. It's it was too much. I knew it was gonna be fucked up when it opened with creep. Oh, acoustic version. I was like, I'm gonna literally <laughs> <laughs> throwing myself off of You're the like, first flag. <laughs> it was really intense, but it's amazing. There was like, <laughs> there was also. A, can I spoil things? Please, for you? no. I want to okay. hear. There's also a moment at the like end when rocket like essentially goes back to the guy that like did all this stuff to him and like is like you know ready to fight yeah uh, i hope no one is listening to this and like hating me but we'll put spoiler yeah, yeah, you have to put like a, and by this time yeah, it's yeah. been you out ha- you too. Ha- yeah but you have to put like a loud like yeah. don't watch this because if i was watching this i'd be really upset um but there's a part where like he you know they're in this like crazy like shootout with the this guy who runs all this stuff whatever he's like essentially a god and rocket's like on the ceiling and he's like he has special power i'm like not explaining this well he has like special powers that like you literally think rocket's gonna die Aww. and then rocket clicks some like button <laughs> and he drops to the floor and the guy is like he's like you will always be and says he has like a serial number oh he's like you like, will always be name. like eight nine one three or something like that and he drops the floor and he's like the name's rocket <gasps> rocket raccoon and i'm like <laughs> i literally was i'm not even joking i was in the theater and i'm like this <laughs> Everyone's like, everyone's like, I was literally like, you don't understand what this does to me. I'm such a, I'm also a new Marvel fan. Oh, like you I'm not, Yeah, like in the last two years, like I was okay, always. Same, same, same. No one killed me. I was always a little bit of a hater. And I was like, this is not my vibe. Like, I don't care I to like too. watch men in like suits yeah. jump around. Like it's stupid to <laughs> me. Was, and then Nick was like, you're watching it. All of them. <laughs> that was his red flag for you. <laughs> literally. He was like, what the fuck? And I watched everything in like three days, literally everything. And so good i did now it's like my personality i did no i did the exact same thing in like when like shutdown started my boyfriend was like all we have is time to watch so we're watching in chronological order from start to finish and i was like these and wandavision was also releasing like at the same time or around yeah i was like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me it's actually incredible art (laughs) this is like so yeah like so i went to the spider-man um no way home premiere is that the one the (gasps) tom holland one they were there too that was my second date with my boyfriend. I brought him with Isn't that me. Hilarious? Oh, I wish I would have seen you guys. I know. But I went there and I left early. I left within five minutes of the movie starting because I felt bad that Nick wasn't with me. And I was like, I'm going to watch it with you. I'm going to save it. So oh I saved it. Oh my God. I know, when I love nice, that really sweet. I know. I'm a really sweet. I know. I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> but no, it's like such a good movie. There's also, I think, the first ever f-bomb in the marvel universe said by chris pratt and it's a moment that you're like whoa in guardians 3 yeah <gasps> oh, i didn't know that i th- i don't know if it's the very first but, but it's, like, one of the few. it's it's not yeah frequent like i think there's been like two other ones ever okay well before we get started with this ad we just want to say thank you so much to macy's for their continued partnership and just being supporters and friends of the show we love you macy's thank you for supporting us and also thank you for just having everything that we need always as you guys know macy's has our backs for every single moment and holiday, and let's just say uh, Father's Day is coming up real soon. Oh my God, I feel like it, it, I feel like Mother's Day just happened. It is creeping around the corner so quickly, and. I- 
obviously we love all the fathers and fatherly figures in the world and in our lives. We're so grateful for all of them. Obviously this Father's Day is especially special for me because my brother Shane, who you guys have met on the pod before, is a father for the first time. And this is his first Father's Day being a dad. I'm going to cry. It's so sweet. And just seeing him with, with his baby is so exciting. And just, I'm so proud of him for this new chapter. So I'm obviously going to be hitting up Macy's to get him a baller gift. And, uh, you know, I'll get something for my dad and my uncle and just all the men in my life who are great fatherly figures to myself. And obviously with Father's Day comes some gifts. And if you struggle shopping for Father's Day, maybe your dad, um, you know, maybe he's a cook or an athlete, a traveler, outdoorsman. Maybe he's pretty simple. No matter what his interests are, Macy's has you covered. I mean, your dad is an athlete. And he's big into cycling. Yeah, suddenly. You could get him some like some nice shoes, maybe some, mm-hmm. you know, it's always good workout clothing. Yes. Because like, you're sweating so much. You need as much, you need them all. You exactly. don't have to do laundry as much. Actually, I mean, that's great. My dad personally loves, <laughs> he's so cute. He's honestly so adorable. All he keeps bringing up, oh, it's so sad. All he keeps bringing up this like thing that my dad said recently that really resonated with him. And I was asking my dad, like, oh, why do you wake up so many? Like, he wakes up at, like, the crack of dawn every morning. Always has. And all he was like, oh, like, why do you wake up so early every day? And he said, I don't know how many sunrises I have left, so I want to see every single one I can. He's just so cute. So with that being said, he loves being outside. Like, he loves the outdoors. He loves sitting on his little patio and, like, reading a book and drinking his coffee so I could get him some, like, you know, nice, like, outdoor decor maybe. Maybe some, like, he loves to grow real he just likes being outdoors so like definitely something in that realm would be perfect for him i know he would really appreciate that too he's so cute oh my god and all he keeps telling me he's like he cries every time he thinks about it this father's day macy's is working with us again to bring a couple special ways to help you find a perfect gift for the dad or dads in your life When I tell you guys, this page is so helpful for not just you guys, but also for me. We basically have this website. If you guys go to macy's.com slash pretty basic, we have a page for you guys with tons of different suggestions for gifts for whatever dad or fatherly figure in your life. You know, if they're like a a grilling guy, an outdoorsy guy, a guy who loves his shoes, or maybe a golfing dad, whatever it may be, we have so many options for you. I really leaned heavy on that list for Mother's Day that we did. So check it out if you guys are stumped on what to get your dad or fatherly figure for Father's Day. Anything from watches, some jackets, outdoor fire pit stuff. (gasps) There's so much stuff in there. We got you. Thanks again to Macy's for working so closely with us and allowing us to share our picks with fans. And remember, you can find our picks at macy's.com slash pretty basic. That's macy's.com slash pretty basic. If you guys have been catching up with Remy and I, we both separately actually went to Japan recently. I went to visit some family friends. And when I tell you, I wish I knew Japanese now more than ever because we're visiting a a, a really good friend who's basically like a sister and she has uh, two kids. So they're like my niece and nephew. And and even though they're, they're actually really good at English, I wish I could speak to them fluently in Japanese and especially they're so young. So I think I would love to have a goal of being able to know a little bit more Japanese by the next trip I go out there to visit them mostly because I want to be the best aunt I can be to them. And I feel like that would be so special to be able to bond over that. So this is the perfect time to introduce one of the sponsors to this podcast, Rosetta Stone. Um, It honestly couldn't have come at a more perfect time. They've been the expert in language learning for 30 years and an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. I am obsessed with how they've structured their learning curriculum because it's so much less about just straight memorizing things that you're eventually going to forget. It puts you in real life scenarios and it it helps you learn bite-sized pieces and you can seriously learn and make real progress in as little as 10 minutes a day. Also, if you don't happen to have niece and nephews in Japan and you want to learn other languages, they have 25 languages. There's Spanish, French, Italian, German, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, Arabic, Polish, so much more. And it goes beyond just vocab. It really focuses on speaking practices, pronunciation with their true accent feature and more. So whether it's for loved ones, traveling, or you just want to, you know, keep your brain sharp, there are so many different reasons why you should download Rosetta Stone. And for a limited time, 
Our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever. That's 40% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash basic today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. Okay, wait, what's your favorite? We'll end with what's no, your favorite please, Marvel this movie? This is like, we need 10 minutes for this. <laughs> and then I'm leaving and then I'll leave you alone and I'm out of here. This is important. What's oh, your favorite so far? You know what? Hot take. I really think that, man... So after I saw Endgame, I actually genuinely put into my Google search, like, were there deaths in real life? Like, did did people actually pass away after watching that movie? Because it was that <laughs> level of like, like, I was so deeply distraught that I was like, there has to be someone out there that like- Heartbroken. Died, like died from literally died, yeah. like had a heart attack and passed away. Um, Cause I almost did. And so I genuinely was like oh, good. scarred, but also, holy shit like, and like yeah. amazing i love like all the avengers stuff i i, yeah. I think is my do you watch the youtube thing? channel that does the easter eggs and everything afterwards <gasps> oh yeah for sure so so good. I love rock, what is it raw it's just the r uh, love obsessed but I what it was my hot take is i think guardians 2 with baby groot is, baby groot. is my fa- is baby one of my groot. favorite films like ever and like of the marvel you know, guardians is guardians like is one of so one bad. of if not my favorite franchise i agree i feel universe. like endgame you have to put those in like a whole separate one because they're just a whole different level yeah yeah yeah. thor ragnarok is one of my favorites that one's really yeah, good one's too so funny yeah. yeah um so funny guardians the, i mean the soundtrack the humor i love that they're leaning into the humor more i like yes. and the first ones were a little more like super guardians. Yeah. there are really funny moments in guardian 3 yeah. i'll say that like okay. like when i'm when sure chris pratt says fuck it's like a really funny moment and everyone's like it's very funny <laughs> i believe it i will get to also, watch Drax it is like my favorite he's so character funny. i like love yeah i think he's my favorite he loki and so wandavision funny. though being shows were really really good oh those are that's right i haven't like gotten all the way into the shows i've seen some okay. of it but I, I know i i should for sure. i know i've yeah. seen some of wandavision but i have to but it's I slow at first because like what's going on but then after like two three episodes and it you know. We're also really lucky though that we waited until this time. I know because now we can watch everything. Exactly. Instead My of like waiting like, four years in between. Oh he was like leaving Infinity War, waiting for Endgame. That's, like, he was like, it was the longest time of his life. Like I watched them with an hour of each other. Yes. Like I can't We're imagine. So tr- we got to treat ourselves. I can't imagine not doing that now <laughs> like, that I've watched break. it. Yeah. I would have like, I think I would not be here with us today. Like, Wait, I would, so what <laughs> did your findings find anything? Did what? Did people die? Your stuff. Your oh, people died. I didn't find anything. I think <laughs> everyone survived. Thank God. The movie. At first, I thought you meant the characters. I was Thankfully. like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully, the I think everyone who watched it survived. But like, I, oh, you know, my favorite part of being a Marvel fan now is watching the theater reactions. Oh my God. I oh love my God. it. Um, Best. Chris Evans. The, Best. wait, are you talking yes, about the hammer? Yes, what? He's yes, like, yes, yes. I was like, oh! I am one of those people yes. like that is me in the fuck like you have no idea like I saw Guardians a week and a half after it came out Guardians 3 so me like literally screaming was not appropriate no one in the theater was screaming but me and everyone was like yo this girl needs to actually fucking chill like it was not the vibe I was like no no St- everyone stand up like I was freaking out I was clapping like at one point like I was She's crying like, Rock it. No, oh, you have no idea there's like a song also they they like do um that's so funny this song called like no sleep till brooklyn and like it like they're like in slow-mo like just fucking up all these like monsters and and i'm just like (laughs) you have no idea you have no idea literally my friends that were with me were just like (laughs) (laughs) i'm like and that's my thing is i'll like just scream into my sleep as loud as possible at the top of my lungs it's I'm fucking dead. insane i'm excited for you no, this I is so awesome it. and it's, it's so nice fun. That, like, i'm actually so having a guardians on. literally watching party tonight at my house like all three of them <laughs> because i have two that's so funny i forgot that i have three friends who have never seen any of them <gasps> oh and so i'm god. like oh my god we're yeah, doing like, it and I'm, I'm literally gonna decorate my house and like do oh, whole thing. make little Cute. snacks i'm gonna make cupcakes that are rocket <laughs> yes. our the, guardian i just theme. like the whole time you're not going to be watching the movie you're going to be watching them yeah. for that the ba- my favorite thing in the world to do as someone who's like ups- i love movies and i love movies with like twists and crazy shit i love watching someone's reaction to something Same. like when i like fight club is like literally it's like an embarrassing like i'm <gasps> it's like it's embarrassing at this point because like it's become my personality trait, but like to the point where it's like cringy because everyone's like, oh, what's your favorite movie? And they know all the, all my fans know the answer. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's just literally, it's too much. But um, if someone ever even like 
utters i haven't seen it i'm like where do you live and what time are you free i just like need to watch you watch it or you're so like bad. they look down at their phone once you're like no 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 shh, shh. have you seen the prestige oh my god that's one of my favorite movies of all time Same. if i could I have a go tattoo back, for it do, wait what is it i okay don't don't show no, my feet, feet yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the door no. with the ball oh sick right dude i'm obsessed when i tell you if I'm obsessed. And this is Marlo Singh's phone number from Fight Club. I'm such a geek. Holy no, shit. I'm such a loser. I'm that is one loser. of those movies. If I could rewatch it for the first time, I wish I could. Because I was so mind blown. I tried to get my friend to watch it and I rewatching it with her. I want to look this oh up. The my God. You've never it. seen it? No, I've never even oh heard of it. Oh my God. Prestige. It is my, it is a it's, like. It's um, Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. It's oh. fucking incredible. And David, hello, David Bowie plays Nikola Tesla. Like yep. my Holy dream. Holy shit. Oh wow! It's okay, like, I've seen oh, photos. Oh, so yes. good. It's in so good. I love like a twisty. I love that you have tattoo for it. Yeah, no, I'm like a big. F I'm a big fan of of things, and when I'm a big fan of them, I get tattoos for them. And then it's that's what I do. It's fine. I have a Rick and Morty tattoo. I have a Adventure Time tattoo. Adventure Time. Are you gonna I get a Marvel time. one? I okay. So a <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. I'm getting. I think a Guardians of the Galaxy one, oh. and I've already been planning on like what I want and. Okay, so I need a couple tattoos. My puppy sadly passed away, so I need oh, a Bowie I'm tattoo. So sorry. I know it's sorry. literally so horrible and disgusting. I can't even talk about it. But I need a Bowie tattoo, so that is on the top of my list. And then I've been thinking of what Guardians related tattoo I want to get. I might get like the awesome mix mixtape thing. <gasps> Cute, yeah. Because I feel like that's like cool Specific. and like not, yeah. yeah. And they're all on my feet, so it's go it's gonna go somewhere down there. What's your Adventure Time tattoo? It says Nidosphere, which is Cute. where Marceline is from. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's yeah. Adorable. I have so many silly ones. I'm trying to think what else. I have a banana on the bottom of my foot. I have. I just thought of banana. Uh, the banana. The banana. Uh, banana. I was friends with someone named Banana, so I got that on my foot. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's literally like her name. Um, I have an octopus because have you seen the octopus teacher? No. Oh, I've heard of it. My my octopus teacher, you must. Oh my God. Okay. Writing it down. Must. 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 <laughs> must. 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 <laughs> it's literally so moving are you like an animal person if yeah. you cried from Guardians, it's okay, I but I can handle are. It. no 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 it's it's not like it's i don't actually look at it as like a sad movie it's okay. like a beautiful touching emotionally oh like moving documentary okay. about a guy it's about like a um i think he's he well i know he's like a documentarian but i think he's also like a he must be some sort of like professional diver or something because he literally dives deep in the ocean every single day but it's about how essentially how we can like connect with species that don't speak the same language and it's like really beautiful how we could develop relationships like with animals and with like you know what i mean like yeah. that sort of thing and it's just like a gorgeous message and i just love it. it's so okay good i'm telling you you're going to text me and be like thank you it it's 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 like yeah it's it's incredible it's incredible i could like cry thinking about it it's so good Wait, we'll oh do my god and yeah, we'll ending, do like there's like sad mo sure it's like it there's sad stuff but it's not like one of those like watch this and then like watch how sad it gets to the end it's like actually like the message is worth oh uh, i love that when you feel like rebirthed after watching something it's and you're so like good <sighs> Wow. It's oh my God. After watching Marvel. Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I literally had no voice. I was like ready to like throw up. It was such, I was, that was the most stressful, like two and a half hours of my life. It was so, did you find it to be stressful? Like I found it to oh, be stressful. No, I, yeah. It was just funny because I had no idea what to expect. Me yeah. So then when it, when it did what it did, <laughs> Literally. I was just like, oh my God, this is so good, but I'm sobbing my eyes out. Also when Rocket like rips his face off, that's intense. like that was like intense for, yes. for Guardians. I feel yeah. like Guardians is their like, maybe not most PG, but like it kind of is. Like yeah. I feel like it's like, it caters to like maybe I'm like us three. I'm like maybe young, but like <laughs> maybe like little kids. Yeah, like but like I feel but like yeah, that is like that. that energy a little. Uh -huh. But it's like yeah, it's like a little gory that scene and like yeah. I felt, mm, why do they have to like make a bunny have like no, like what the fuck? And then wait, did you see when they? Sorry, no. Did you see? I'm interested. <laughs> um, at the end when they like went into what was his name like the high evolutionary right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. When they went into like his office and they had that like crazy brawl with like the like the staff that worked there, yes. there was that bunny that was like controlling all the things. Yes. People were saying online that that's like an, a, a, like a perfect version of what floor was supposed to be. Oh. And floor was like the first like prototype. I don't know who floor is, but I love her. Oh, you <laughs> will love oh floor. Oh my God. 
Do you know what I'm, you're, do you yes. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the, I thought she's it was like in the like control. A, I didn't realize it was a bunny. Yeah, if you look, she has like bunny ears. Oh my God. And I so people that. were saying online that they think that that's what came from. Yes. Yeah, like she's the evolved so version of Floor, sense. which is, which is, I think that's a cool like tie back. Yeah. For sure. I need a, I haven't seen the, the recap YouTube video of three, <sighs> so I'll do that. I need it's to. It's intense, dude. It's all on time. It's also so intertwined. And I'm like, I'm such a fake fan with like my knowledge, even though I think I'm like a huge fan um, because they'll be like, oh, this goes to the comic and da, 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 da. da. And I'm like, I know it's so crazy. True. Like, was, oh, you have to also watch the end. You watch the end credits, right? Yes. Like afterwards. Yes. Yes. I love the end credits. People are saying that, so Groot is like huge at the end and people are saying that that's like from the original comic books because he was apparently like gigantic in the original comics. I was going to make a joke earlier when you were saying how like your new single music video like ties back and like it's the Madison Beer universe. Literally. <laughs> oh, universe. Welcome to it. I love that. Wait, you know, what the, also at the end, sorry. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> you know, also at the end of the movie where they're like, where Groot is like, I love you guys. Yes. He's apparently, what James Gunn said was that he is not saying that. He's saying I am Groot, but we just understand him now because we're part of the family. Shut the fuck up. I, I have chills. chills. <laughs> that's why no one reacts like none of them like react because apparently he does still say i am Groot. it's just we just oh don't know. My God. i know i can't i can't i, I got chills i love nozzle. shit like that that i wish it said people, in subtitles yes. though like i am Groot, so we like knew that was what was going on. but it's, yeah. it's cool to like think about it afterwards oh my god i know isn't that so fucking cute uh, wait i'm trying to think there was one more thing i was gonna mention and then i'm done so good wait 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 what was it fuck it was something about the movie i loved how because he has that key the, the key card. Oh yeah. And I distinctly remember in old movies forever ago, him playing with it. And now I'm like uh -huh. the way that they connect I know. it. It's so cool. It is so good. It is so cool. I love so stuff like good. that so much to me. That's like such a, to it, be a fly in the writer's room of how dude, they like, like 10 years ahead. It, right. It's literally insane. Like we think Taylor Swift's Easter eggs are crazy. Like the, <laughs> the way Marvel is with their whole timeline, like, it's insane. Nuts. When it's is Harry nuts. Styles supposed to join? Because he was in the end credits of what? Join yeah. Marvel. He was, he He's was in, in Marvel. What? He was in the movie. No, no. In Guardian? No, Pete no, not Guardians. Was in the, no, no, was in no, no, not Guardians. Um, the one with Gemma Chan that just yes, that one. Wait, what was it? Eternals. He's in the end credit scene. She op like someone opens the door and he's standing there like in a superhero suit. What? Yeah, I swear. <sighs> so he's coming in. Wait, I my visceral he was reaction. In it. I haven't <laughs> seen him. That was at the end of Eternals. I think there's another Eternals coming too. Do you watch that one? Dude, I'm also like, I'm just thinking of all these like crazy Marvel moments. Like you need I was to be in it. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Hello. I would do anything. Like, who do I have to call? Um the another another like moment that I was like literally shouting and screaming in the theater was when they were like, show me Spider-Man. And then <gasps> it was Toby McGuire. And he jumps in. Oh my God. Or when Andrew was, Garfield like, catches Zendaya. Oh my God. Uh, like, like I that? could cry just looking. No, no, like, no, I about can't it. even. I can't. And then, and then she's just like looking at him, and he's like, she, he's Are like, you okay. Oh, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. ah, that, that one wrecked me in a way, like, or like, very different. When they all three, when they decide to like team up together, and they're like, we need to do it this way, and they go one, two, three, jumping. Oh up. my <laughs> god! Sorry, no, I can't. Yeah, no. Like, what is it? Like, why does it? Like, it just excites me so much. It's just so fucking hype and cool, and I'm just like, this is the sickest thing I've ever it's watched. It's the music. Music, it's the crowd, like it's, it's all of it. So, it's so good. And even like you're so looking. right though. That moment with the like when uh, he's like with the hand. Yes. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Dead. I'll rewatch it right now. <laughs> no, yeah. There was fuck. There's one more moment that I was like gonna bring up because I thought it was so crazy and in, in, that I did scream also for it in the, in <laughs> the new one. The new one. Fuck. What was it? No, I'm kind of blinking. God damn. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say two things. How cute is Mantis? Oh, I I love used her. to not be like oh my God, care yeah. for her. I'm now obsessed. I love. I want to be here for Halloween. I'm gonna do it one you year. Do you, do you? Oh, oh my God! I might steal that. Can we cute. do it? Together? Yeah, <laughs> you should. Have you seen? Um, Hello, Adventure Time. Yes. Do so you know Bemo? Yeah. Like to me, Bemo, oh, Mantis, so and fun. Cosmo the dog okay. are like the same. Oh my I see God, that. the dog. I, I the see dog. that. I Is Cosmo? Bemo. Do you know Cosmo yet? No. Oh, like I think talking this was dog his first. in the movie. Oh my God, yeah. I haven't seen him. Am I, I really a bad dog? That's <laughs> that the that cutest funny. part of the yeah. whole thing. I kind of hit. It's like a talking dog and 
her i think she's a girl yeah. her oh. owner is like bad dog cosmo in the whole movie she's like you don't really mean that i'm a bad dog do you oh. and the way she talks she's like and it's so cute and she's so upset the whole literally throughout yeah. the whole movie she's, she's like, like take it back yeah she's like take it back i am not a bad dog you know i am not a bad dog and it's the cutest thing ever and like he's just like no and then at the very end he's like good dog cosmo and she's like i knew you were dying. i knew it it's the cutest fucking thing but a dog i just love how like mantis talks to like mantis and drax's interactions yeah. are just my favorite thing in the so world so good she's like you will sleep and drax is like you did are, you like you are ugly um, and stupid yeah <laughs> i'm like oh my god I don't, I don't know his real name in real life but he was the gold guy oh my god um he was in we're the millers wasn't he yes <laughs> Dude, yes we watched we're the millers five days before we saw guardians and me and nick were literally like what the fuck <laughs> but yeah no i I, I did. I thought it was great. Yeah. I think the sovereign people are like so weird and interesting. I, I actually enjoy whenever like, he was a funny the comedy moment too. I feel like throughout the whole thing. Yeah, no, he, or by he's the definitely end. funny. I mean, yeah. he's the hero who saved the day. Yes. Then, so. Oh my, like even, oh my God. Yeah. That movie, I kept being like, just anyway. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Well, guys, thank you so much for having <laughs> no, me on your thank podcast. You for being on. I had the best time and I love you both. And I'm sorry that I, fucked up our first one no, here sorry. we are and i hope all of our listeners out there are happy that they got a six and a half hour long treat <laughs> oh, this is most, i feel like we should just put it into two parts yeah you know, <laughs> that'd be fabulous. this is the food part this is the market yeah. part. love it that's it that's all we talked about, talk oh, about. Oh, if we can put all of the food into one hour that would be so funny i'm dead that would be the pipelines so we good. went down were really wild no, i but love, I love it. it and honestly that's exactly what we wanted and thank so you for so letting so me bad. play you my song yeah. thanks for letting thank us hear you have letting me listen Heard it. Truly, congratulations on everything. Yes. We're so proud of you. You, you should be so Thank proud. That was you. that's it's fucking good. Thank you. It's so much. Fucking good. Fucking good. No, we should do this incredible. like annually. Maybe not even annually. We should just like we should have like Any a time. monthly thing. Any single comeback? Let's do Please. it. Please, yeah. I would love it. Back for my third. Our unofficial guest. We, we could do an like, album one too. Oh my god. Fuck We're yes. Done, done and done. Up. Let's do it. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Be sure to follow Madison on all socials. Don't do that. Yes, please do. Madison, this is a Madison stream, 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 stream the new album. Thank you. Buy tour tickets. Yeah. Buy the half of it. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.